even though there are many disc golf storage options on the market, and we already did a video on this topic, there has to be a better way to store your discs. Since most disc golf racks are either too expensive, not sturdy enough, or they just don't hold enough discs. Now, there are many ways to go about building your own disc golf rack, but the two most common are either with PVC piping or wood. Unfortunately, one of the biggest issues with PVC piping is that it often bends when too many discs are stacked, and in our opinion, it just doesn't look that good. So in the end, we decided that wood would be the best option to give us our desired results. In total, we only spent around $120 Canadian, and best of all, it's really, really easy to do. All you need are a few basic tools to get started. So to build your own disc golf rack, here's what you'll need. The first thing you'll need is obviously some lumber and you're gonna need two different types. The first is gonna be two two by eight boards that will act as the main posts for the rack and ours came eight feet in length and most hardware stores are the same. The next thing is you'll need several one by two or two by three boards that will make up the shelves. And for us, considering our lower ceiling in the basement, we were able to use around 12. Now, whichever you choose, it really doesn't matter. However, we found the one by twos were the most cost effective. Next thing you'll need is measuring tape because you're gonna wanna measure how high the two main posts can be in your space, how far apart it should be between them and how many disc rows can fit within your space. The third thing you'll need is something to cut the wood with. You need a saw. Now, not everybody has a saw just lying around. So our recommendation is to buy the wood from a hardware store and to get them to cut it for you. The fourth thing you'll need are a box of screws. Now we use two to three inch screws. You can obviously use different sizes depending on the size of the wood that you purchase, but we don't recommend using any kind of nails and a hammer. It just makes it more difficult and it doesn't give you the desired result. Now with screws and wood, you're gonna need some kind of a drill. And we highly recommend you drill smaller holes into the wood before you drill in the screws because this prevents the wood from cracking or really splintering or causing any kind of issues to the wood. And the last two things you'll need are a level to ensure that your rack and your rows are nice and level, your discs aren't falling over, and a nice little addition as well is some sandpaper. In case you have any rough edges after cutting the wood, it's nice to sand them off so it's nice and smooth. So now that you know what you need, here are the steps we took to build our own disc golf rack. First, measure your space and cut the two main boards that you're using for the main post. For example, we purchased eight foot boards and had to cut them down to fit our lower ceiling basement. You may have enough space for the full length so you can skip this step. However, the extra wood does provide an added benefit. Once you've cut the main boards, take the surplus pieces and cut two pieces of the same length that will act as feet for the main board posts. If you don't do this, you may have to find a way to anchor the rack to the wall to avoid it tipping over. So if you don't have any extra pieces, maybe you have some other pieces of wood or other things you can use as the main feet. After that, screw in the feet to the main boards and place the board posts in the position where you'd like to have your disc golf rack. Then measure the distance between the two main board posts to figure out the distance you'll need for the shelf pieces. Now it's important to note that for the next few steps, you'll need a second set of hands to help you hold the posts in place while you're screwing it all in. And honestly, if you don't have help, it's near impossible. So get your wife, get your spouse, get whoever, get a friend to help you out. So first you're gonna want to measure approximately how many shelves you can fit in order to space them appropriately. Now for the distance between each shelf, we measured around 12 inches to ensure that the discs were easy to access. And we measured it from the top of one shelf to the bottom of another. After that, you're gonna to wanna to start by cutting your first two shelf pieces to the required length and begin screwing them into the base of each post. Now we drilled smaller holes into the post first to make it easier to drill the screws in, but also prevent any kind of crack. We also only used one screw for each shelf, but they were quite long to help ensure that they were sturdy and secure. Now it's also important to note that you do not want to cut all of the shelf pieces the same length all at once. It's very hard to keep the exact same measurements for each row. Perhaps it was our fault and the feet weren't perfectly parallel to one another when we did the first row. But in general, it's always a good idea to wait in case the next row isn't exactly the same length. As previously mentioned, the height between each shelf was around 12 inches and that's measuring from the top of one to the bottom of the next. Therefore, as you go row by row, for each row, you need to measure the length of the wood, you need to cut each piece, level
travel each piece and screw them in. And if you do it as this gradual process, you're gonna have a very sturdy and good looking disc golf rack. And lastly, as a little added bonus, you can also attach to the sides of the rack some hooks so you can hook up your bags, your hats, or whatever you may wanna hang up. It's just a nice little addition to give you a little bit more storage. So, are you ready to tackle your very own wooden disc golf rack? We sure hope so. And honestly, Lindsay and I had a great time putting this together, a little bit of trial and error, but that's the reason why we created this video for you guys. Thanks as always for watching Justice. Good luck out there building your own disc golf rack. And if you want more and you're not yet subscribed, you guys know exactly what to do. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Merci beaucoup et à bientôt.